Hey up viewer, welcome to Wheatley TV and our first home match of the season back here at the Wheatley Oval, a pulsating local derby against Retford. Let's have a look at the teams. Got three changes to tell you about for Wheatley. Johnny Lotes and George Poss unavailable, so we welcome Ali Suresh for his first match of the season and big hitting farmer Rob Hunter Shaw, he comes in as well. And we thought we'd seen the last of him, he's come back for some more, Toby Smith. He wants to play for Wheatley, who can blame him? He's not made of metal, is he? Wheatley have lost the toss and we're batting. Ratford are in the field, Nathan Singleton opening the bowl and we've got George Lewis and Stuart Groves opening the batting for Wheatley. Now last week, viewer, I promised you a special guest and by jingo have I delivered. Standing next to me is one of the beard-stroking high priests of YouTube club cricket, the Everton Weeks of wordsmithery, Friendly Phoenix's very own, Henry Douthwaite. How you doing, mate? Hello there, viewers. <laughs> Wonderful to be here, Peggy. Um, first time at the Wheatley Oval, mate. Indeed. First, first impressions? Uh, first impressions, it's not the... Uh, the sheer cliff edge I thought it would be. It's actually far flatter. <laughs> George has popped that straight to square leg and Retford have one in the first over. Long walk of shame. Poor old George. Skipper Tom Waterfield comes to the crease. Solid. <laughs> Brandon Mapp from the top end. Whipped by Stu to mid wicket. Cheeky single. Not safe enough in the end. <laughs> oh, that's oh, edge. No. Stu goes and Wheatley are one for two. <laughs> well, an incisive start from Ratford here. Here's Connor Maestra. That's a solid block. Yeah. Nicely played by Tom and gentle single in the end. That's a delightful punch. Becky, is that a kookaburra or a juke ball? <laughs> I think just by the, uh, the the distance of that was hit, I would say it's kookaburra. Man, so I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Batters Union. It's a big appeal. He's been given, and this disastrous start for Wheatley continues. It's four for three. That is a super shot down the ground from Connor. Oh, well, that's a pretty decent follow-up, that one, from Mr. Singleton. <laughs> it's in the air, but it's managed to split the fielders. Travelling. Slow outfield in that corner. And Connor's going to pick up a brace. Full one, just out of the grasp of the bowler. Ultimately, I just missed you boys too much. You know it, you know it. <laughs> Bit pokey from Annie there. That's sliced behind square. It's going to be a chase, but in a vain one. That's four for Annie. That's a bit wafty from Connor. <laughs> Inside edge from Connor, he gets away with one. Ooh, that's edge, but it's gone down. I promise I'm not a bad penny. Oh, jeez. That's gone high, it's coming towards Henry and I. That no, is going for God, six. That's, that's a big appeal again, Ooh. but the umpires turn it down. Nice. 
another big appeal. This time, Connor goes. Oh and another God. one. I really hope I'm not a bad penny. I'm blaming this on you, Andrew. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that rare highlight uh, in this batting thing so far from Annie, which is a six over one in Henry's head, um, that went in the top of that hedge. And I was gunning for a catch. <laughs> I lined it up, and the apex just beat me. Uh, our chairman, Wayne Ellis, is uh, poking around in the hedge, hoping he can get the original match ball back. Nothing too special fielding wise for the hat trick ball. Here it is. Oh, he's pinned him again, but this time it looked like it was going down. Edge oh, through the slips. Beautiful and shot. That is four. Totally played. <laughs> what is going on there? Oh, <laughs> too, early in the, too early in the season for sorcery. <laughs> it's oh. good thinking there. There's no fine leg. <laughs> Why not? That's true, yeah. There's no fine leg. It's, it gets any form of bat on it, that's uh, four runs. It's a full ball, and Annie's guided that down. It's not going to go, and they come back for two. Sensible batting. Oh, oh Rob's had his off stump knocked out, and Wheatley a 27 for six. going to be one of those oh, famous on, weekly comebacks. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> That's a big appeal and uh, again it's been turned down by the umpire. Goodness, yeah, there's a lot of late swing. Ten over's gone and shall we just leave it at that? Change of bowling. Singo's been taken off. He'll be Bowling later on, I'm sure. Oh, oh it went on the bounce to mid off. That is a delightful is. strike. Oh, it's going to hold up. It's going to be two runs for Annie for that one. We've got another change of bowling at the top end. Brandon Mapp's been taken off. A bit of left arm tweakery. That's a wide first ball. That Need to get as many of these runs as we can Indeed. at the moment. It's a perfect oh, result. He's coming back. Oh, yeah, yeah, he didn't. That was too far too risky. Yes, well, a run out was just about the last thing we needed there. Well, Cal has quite rightly got a promotion after last week's performance, but um, coming in at 30 for seven probably wasn't at the top of his planned list. Right, are we just going to have one, lads? Yeah, just one. <laughs> and he comes down the track, he pops it over the top of mid-off. It's not going to go. And this time they come back for a rather safer single. Or two, should I say. <laughs> oh, dear. Lovely shot by Annie, this time along the ground. Okay. That one has gone! <laughs> oh, that is a Jaffa. That's a thick inside edge from Cal, that gets away with it. Over the top of point. That should Kapow. go for four. Oh my no. word, Annie. <laughs> Annie comes down the track again. He's launched it into the tennis courts for a magnificent six. 50 up for Wheatley with that shot. And he's on 26. Okay. 
that's that over the top of the man at 45. Chase down, and they come back for two. Cowles put that in the air, and it's caught at point. Well, in comes Toby, and he only knows one way to play. And it's something like that. <laughs> oh, think about two, and yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to comment on that. So, uh, shovel out into the leg well side done, by Tobe. Well done, boys. Well done. And they come back for two. Keep working. Oh, oh that's no. gone straight up the chimney. No one's catching that. No! Oh, <laughs> George. <laughs> Georgia going viral. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Henry saunters in as the number 11. We are just over 15 overs into this match and currently 57 for 9. Last gasp salute. Oh, and Henry goes, and Wheatley's very sorry innings has ended. Well, well bowled to Retford, they have been absolutely relentless. Um, Annie looked like he was playing on a different wicket to everyone else. And what can you say, 57 all out, uh, Wheatley going to be really disappointed with that. Let's see what happens uh, when we come out to bowl. Did you do well you were distracting me again Henry <laughs> um, I've just discovered that um, uh, the microphone was turned off for you as you will probably discover from the um, incidental music I've been playing um, apologies here we are irresponsible <laughs> cut out and stop by Jake <laughs> Cal Rutherford hoping the ball from the top end that's where he needs to be Andy, what an effort that was, a second slip, and it goes down. As tradition dictates, that was a front foot no ball, this is a free hit. And another no ball, that'll be another one. This time it's been launched out into the offside. It's been brilliantly fielded by Connor, and they keep it to two. Another no ball, that's been launched, sorry, a free hit I should have said, that's gone for four this time. Oh, beautiful delivery. <laughs> Huge appeal, but no, it didn't look right to me. <laughs> really good sense of theatre here from Wheatley. Got to create the atmosphere that everything is very close. <laughs> No, it wasn't. Sight screw's going to come into play here. I can tell you, George has successfully fielded the client's boundary. That's right. Good. That's a luckful shot, but stopped. Well, by Connor. It's nicely tapped into the leg side for a single. Slice down. That should go for four. Oh no, brilliantly stopped. And he keeps it to two. Yeah, they stick to one there. Nice looking shot. That's stopped by Connor in the covers. Nice 
nice looking shot down the ground that's going to be stopped by Toby. That's a lovely shot. And all the way. Well, a very sensible looking start from Redford here. It's got them to 20 runs, more than a third of the way to their target. Flicked fluently through square leg. That is going to go out for four. Edged again, just in front of Annie at second slip. Nice shot. And again, it's fairly well by Toby. It's only one. Cracked behind square, that's a short lovely pitched. shot. And, uh, got what it deserved. Uh, oh, hasn't gone. Second game, T20. Come on, ball up. You're running. Go, Calcerum and Wheatley are on the board. Connor comes on and he's immediately punched out through extra cover. Jono's Great. got it and Great he's going to go. Yeah, that was good. That's take. Nicely played. Dab down to Jake. And it's only one. Nudge down fine. Jake brings it back and keeps it to one. That's good feeling. Oh, nicely bowled. bowled. Oh, Stu gets him. That's two down. Well stopped by Annie, and <laughs> just about avoids being run out. Oh, what a ball by Cal! I think that was going down. Cal doesn't agree, but uh, either way, umpire turns it down. Ten overs gone in this Redford innings. Thirty-two for two. Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. Two, two, for three, surely. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely clipped. It's beaten the drive by George, and that's gone out for four. The problem with it is it's slightly judgmental. <laughs> oh, that's a yorker and well played. Really good oh, shot. Actually. Turned it into a high volley, and uh, it's gone for four. Wheatley looking for a number of pieces of magic here. 18 to get for Retford. Only two down. And Cal's bowling well. Edge! Oh, brilliantly taken by Stu. And that's the third. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what the... Uh... He hit it and he caught it. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he... That's a lovely, lovely shot. Delivery. And he's chasing it down. I've gone up, but I'm not sure that was convincing. That's so uh, wide. Flip down to Jono. That's why it stopped. Need. Need. <laughs> and it's what? 14 runs to get here for Retford. Oh, it's a good job we got a bat on that. Oh, that's gone. Hi to Henry. And he's clasped it. <laughs> Four down. Thank you. Anyone watching the scorecard? 
<laughs> oh, for a few more runs. <laughs> Flip fine. Stopped by Jono really well. And he won. It could be me right in thinking, Peggy, that this batter is using a black knight bat. Could be. Well, so he's, he's edged off that black knight bat for four, by the way. Eight to get for Redford here. That's good running. It put pressure on George there at mid on. And it doesn't need to. Nicely dinked through mid wicket there from Nathan Singleton. <laughs> Known as Mr. Retford to his teammates. That's two. A hell of a, a, hell of a wait for your train, man, is <laughs> That's all right, as long as uh, you don't mind kicking around or unless you've got something to do. I'll. Um, I, I might, Pop back home, go and get my laptop and um, bring it up here to edit it actually because it won't take that long. Nice <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And that's four to win. Flip oh, down fine. It's fairly well by John A. It's only one. It's a really lovely shot. No, Henry will bring that back in, but they could get the runs they require. No, not quite. Despite this uh, low total, I miscalculated. Um, I've got two to win. Oh, Slap oh, through, shot. brilliantly stopped by Annie. Uh, the scores are level. Carl's laughing at Connor because I think Connor thought that was match over. He was shaking hands with the umpire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that out? No, it's not. And Retford have won. <laughs> well, that match lasted barely 30 overs. And unfortunately, Wheatley posted a really paltry total in a fairly insipid batting display. But that was because Retford bowled really well. Hats off to them. Well, I think it's fair to say that uh, the washing line didn't quite work today. Um, there'll be better days than this, but uh, this is all part and parcel of uh, club cricket season. Uh, hopefully we've got our total thrashing out of the way. <laughs> um, but well played to Redford. They have the local bragging rights. Despite us um, firmly laying the blame of this at the door of Henry Galthway, Hannes, <laughs> um, what did you make of your first trip to Wheatley? I'm crushed. I'm <laughs> devastated. Uh, <laughs> had an absolutely sensational time. And honestly, viewers, if you are in the area at all, do come because I have been welcomed here with open arms. And I do hope this will... <laughs> that I'm invited back again, that I'm not considered a bad penny and that I come back and see a full 100 overs. <laughs> You'll be lucky after this <laughs> atrocity. Um, but anyway, lovely to have you along, Henners. Uh, thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much for watching and do watch for Emily Phoenix TV as well if you get the chance. Um, and until we see you next time, viewer, all best. <laughs>